Hey, thanks for watching. I'm going to give you a video walkthrough of our catio. We live in Las Vegas, so it's very hot, it's very sunny, um, and actually you're not allowed to let cats roam free. So we wanted to make sure that it's somewhere safe and we wanted them to have outdoor space. So just off the back of our patio, we hooked in here into the edge of the porch roof and built a structure starting here. Um, Zoe is demonstrating catio usage. Hey Zoe. So let me show you inside and a bit more about it. We used a sort of screen door as the way to get in and out. So they actually have a large space, but we realized when we were constructing this that actually we could make it even bigger by going down the house, the side of the house. So I'm just going to turn around. Let's say to Zoe first. Hey Zoe. These boards, by the way, they're six feet long, so that gives you an idea. I, I mounted them, I sort of offset them so that they can jump up, they can get up to uh, I guess about six, seven feet there at the top. So let me show you the side of the house. This is what I mean. Um, we realized that it should be fairly easy to, to cordon this off. So we just ran the uh, screening down the side. And this is actually where we have cat door. It goes into our at lounge actually. We were kind of limited as to where we could put it put it there. So we can come in and out 24-7. We also cut a gate in a uh, hole in this gate. So we realized actually if we brought it all the way down to the edge of the house, then they would actually have a much larger area and a lot more to look at. So they actually really enjoy sitting at the front there and watching people go by in the street washing cars and people walking dogs and so on. Hey Zoe. So this is a quick overview. Like I said, we're in Vegas, it doesn't rain much, so we brought some uh, cat uh, towers out as well. But they love it. Um, it actually was quite a lot to, to construct. It seemed a lot simpler on paper. We found a local handyman. He came on site with four guys. Uh, or three guys and they took four days to build it so it's it quite a lot of work lots of uh, wood lots of this metal screening which is two inches by four inches um, and one point to note you know when you're mounting these large posts in the ground um, the ground is also going to be wet um, so it's definitely recommended to use pressure treated lumber. Uh, we did not. Uh, we painted the wood instead. Um, we might be okay here uh, in Nevada. It doesn't rain a lot, but if you're somewhere wetter, um, probably a good idea to use pressure treated lumber. That is more expensive though. So that's it. Quick overview. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Happy to uh, tell you more. But, uh, you know, this costs a few thousand dollars, and as far as we're concerned, it's money well spent. The cats can go out 24-7. Um, we also thought carefully about, you know, it, so it'd be a nice experience for them, that they would get shade as well. It's not just baking sunshine. So in the morning, all of this area is totally shaded. Later in the afternoon, like now, the sun is coming from the west, so... You know, at the end of the day, it's it's definitely sunny, but down this side is completely sheltered by the house. So uh, there's no, you know, they can get shade somewhere at any time during the day. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks.